It wouldn't be a security show if we didn't look at antivirus software. So today, we thought we would do a versus. We're gonna look at a free version of antivirus software made by AVG, and we're gonna compare that against what you get with a paid for version with Norton Antivirus. So if we take a look at, first of all, AVG, we're gonna test this out. We've installed it in this computer, and I must say, it's got complete integration. We're covering all of the different inputs, so if we put a flash drive or SD card inside of this computer, it's gonna check it for viruses. But the web is what we're worried about. The web is the number one place where most viruses come from. A good way to test any antivirus software that you have on your computer is to go and look at the European Institute of Computer Antivirus Research. They've actually created several different types of files that you can download that are gonna test your security software. A .com file, like going to a website that has malware in it, a text file that might have a virus in it, and a zip file that might have a virus in it. Let's try the .com. I'm gonna click on the link and boom, there it is. AVG has popped up a malware alert. We're gonna to wanna to move that to the vault to make sure that we don't infect our computer. So why would you ever pay for antivirus software? I don't recommend that you do unless you have a reason to use some of the extended features that do come with some of the paid versions. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So on this computer, I've loaded Norton 360 Premier Edition. You're gonna pay around $100 and it's gonna allow you to protect up to three computers. You get more than just antivirus. You get a number of different programs that help keep your computer secure. Some people might argue that all those different programs slow your computer down a little bit, which is a fair argument, but let's take a look at what you get. One thing that you're gonna get is cloud storage. So your computer's not secure if someone can break into your house and take the whole thing away. Cloud storage up to 25 gigabytes will actually allow you to back up those files to a safe and secure place. And one of the features that I thought could be worth all of the investment is the parental control. You actually set up accounts for each of your children in the house and you can look at what their activity is online at a very specific level. You can look at what websites they're going to, what posts they're making on social social media sites like Facebook or MySpace, you can even look at their chat activity. And the access to all that information really gives you the grounds to be able to sit down with them and actually talk to them about how they're using the internet and get a good understanding of what they're doing when they are online. And if you go to the settings feature, you can actually control things like blocking out certain websites that you might not want them to go to, as well as setting time restrictions. Like perhaps when they get home from school, they can use the computer from say three o'clock till six o'clock, but after that, you don't really want them on there anymore. So you can start to see how paying for a software security program like the Norton 360 really does have some extra benefits. I would say if you want to start off, just get the free software. AVG is a good one. Make sure you have that as a minimum and then start to look at some of these other things if you have a little bit more money.